Once upon a time in Montreal, Cirque du Soleil dared to enter a world of wonder and magic. Cirque was developing a new show with Disney, and now its characters, acrobats, and musicians gathered to share the incredible story of Drawn to Life at Disney Springs in Walt Disney World Resort, Florida. Follow us through this spectacular adventure where art and passion will lead animated characters from dream to reality. This is Michel Labrise, the show writer and director. He and the team worked to make Julie's story come to life in a uniquely Cirque way. It's not by accident that we wanted to celebrate the art of animation. From day one, we saw a link between the dedication of an animator in the classic 2D hand-drawn animation. It will spend like hours to make drawings. This is very similar to what we do here. Not only the acrobats who have to train every day to make that one movement emotional, technically perfect, but everybody here, the set designers, the props team, everybody, costumes, what we have here, people have to know that it's unique. All Disney characters are unique too, and all of those characters were born from drawings. Michel's idea was to keep them in their original form, sometimes simplified, sometimes magnified and recontextualized, but always triggering an emotion. Here is Cinderella's original pencil test by Mark Davis in 1947. In this drawing, there is no ink, no color, but it is the very first phase of animation, where the illusion of life appears. The character comes to life. This is precisely what inspired Cirque's creative team. In the show Drawn to Life, the artist Cirque and the art of Disney animation exist together. Both are really different from each other, so when they meet, something magical happens. It's not a meeting between two brands. It's, it's a meeting between people who are passionate about their art form, what we do and what they do, ultimately to touch the, the soul and to inspire the lives of, of the audience who will come and see that. It's humans coming together to say something important and this is why the story is so important. It's about a young girl and her father. It's about family, it's about love and life. It's the love for craftsmanship uh, of what you do, the, the art form that you devote your life to. It's a love letter to the art of animation. See you in the next episode where we'll be meeting some of the artists.